Today is the first day of my holidays. It's been perfect so far. Today is the day I fly to Europe. I have to be out of the house by about 1.30 at the latest. It's now coming to 12. So flying from Brisbane to Melbourne and Melbourne to Doha and Doha to Belgrade. There's only about two hours maximum stopover between the flights, so nice and fast. There's a few things left to pack. So the laptop that's on charge, some cables I'm gonna take on the airplane. And uh, yeah, there's the suitcase. I've had to scale out to tell how heavy stuff is. I've got the jacket and everything packed in there. It all sort of uh, barely fit. Like, I hope this zip thing doesn't break. It's not even that I've packed so much stuff. It's just that I bought a present for my cousin, well, a few of them. And I didn't want uh, those things, I didn't want to take them out of the original packaging. So it's the packaging that's bulky. Whereas had I taken them out, it would have been very small because I think it ruins it if you like take it out of packaging. So with the jacket in the bag, uh, this thing is what I'll be taking with me on the plane and giving, I don't know, to someone in Europe, whoever wants it. Like, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on the camera, like the colors of began to fade and that uh, it's not something I'd uh, probably wear much longer. I just didn't want to land in you know short sleeve when it's probably going to be about minus two or plus two somewhere around there. Because of, of limited space in the luggage I have to wear these ridiculous winter shoes uh, on the plane. I just hope I don't die with how hot it is outside today. If you were wondering how hot it is, it's just about gonna be 34 degrees. So I'm at the airport now, my flight's about to start boarding and uh, then we go to Melbourne. And as I was getting on the plane, I was tired and I pretty much stopped filming but I did take a few photos. It sort of reminds me of one of those drunk nights where you remember flashes of certain memories in the morning. So approaching Melbourne here, we were greeted with another thunderstorm, but it did give me these beautiful photos and views from up here. Here we are getting into Melbourne, that's great. I wanted to get some snacks for the next flight, so I went to pick up some m and saw there was $6.70, whereas at Woolies there $4.25. Here we are on the A380, getting ready to take off. I'm tired, I just wanna to go to bed. If you haven't flown the A380, I think you should fly it. It is one of the quietest and most comfortable aircraft I've ever been on, even in economy. The screen on this thing actually works like an iPad. It is very responsive. It's, it's like really like having an iPad in front of you. There is an island called Siri Island in Iran. Then I got bored and decided to see what I can take apart on the plane. <laughs> just kidding, it was already loose and I just took it out. It's a coat hanger thingy. I was also getting creative with little coffee utensils and I thought this was a nice look. Landing in Belgrade, greeted with a lot of snow, sort of snow at the terminal. And here's the part that I really like, just getting in the car and gunning it on the highway. Following that, visited my cousin, gave her presents, took a few selfies, we had dinner. After that, I was back in the car, driving to my aunt's house with um, some kind of political escort in front of me, so I couldn't go too fast. Uh, this is the Bosnian solution for everything. Here's a funny clip. My uncle was um, trying to drive an automatic for the first time <laughs> in his life. It, uh, it was interesting and painful to watch at the same time. Eventually, after I told them to use one foot, they got the hang of it and um, off they went. I don't even want to know how they turned around or what the... Yeah, I just don't want to know. A few days later, I went for a drive to Sarajevo through the mountains. The A broken down truck. Scenery was great. After that, had my car washed because it was just filthy at Gazprom. Yes, I only buy Russian fuel when I'm there. Mainly because there was a fuel... Um, Sort of poisoning thing but anyway another drive 
back to my cousin's house. We were going to Budapest, Budapest shopping. You have to take a picture of where you park because otherwise I'll never remember. Another selfie in the shopping center, another selfie on the escalator next to the waterfall. Then the hotel room we checked in. This hotel room was great. Well, look at look at all these things. It's It was five star hotel, great hotel. This hotel came with a very nice champagne bottle. My cousin didn't want any. I ended up drinking the whole bottle. Uh, was a bit hungover the following morning. Out onto the balcony, um, had an EU flag, so I knew where I was. Not that Hungary really likes the EU, but it was uh, still nice right in the center of the city there. Yep, looks nice. Following morning, I saw the sticker and I thought, wow, these people actually let you do what you want. They just put little signs telling you you could get hurt. Following that, we went swimming, um, attempted to take selfies on the water. None of it really turned out. Went into the spa, relaxed after the spa, took a few selfies in the city. I drove back to my aunt's house, had more alcohol. A few days later, it was time to go back. So that was a Europe trip. Not much detail, but um, yeah, like I said, drunk time. Now I'm back in Australia. Just had a swim there. It started to rain. This weather now pretty much represents how I feel on the last day of my holidays. 